your perception can be influenced by the culture you grew up in. This is called ethnocentric bias. For example, the attitude towards bikini or burqa can be very different depending upon which culture a person grew up in. Take another example. Most American mothers think that it is important to focus on their children's success, while most Chinese mothers think it is more important to provide discipline for their children. You prefer interacting with people who hold similar views as you do. Most likely, your Facebook friends are an echo chamber of your thinking and not people who think drastically different than you do. Even though you know rationally that you can make a better decision if you have multiple perspectives on an issue. Ethnocentricity makes it very difficult to do so. Your perception can also be influenced by your ego. This is called egocentric bias. And you make yourself appear more worthy or competent than you actually are. For example, self-serving bias is when you attribute success to yourself but blame failure on situational factors. I did well in the science exam because I am intelligent and I worked hard. I did not do so well in math because there was too much noise outside the examination room. Another personal bias called overconfidence bias leads to planning failures because you overestimate the rate at which you can finish a task. Think of all the times you prepared a revision schedule for exams or you prepared a project plan. Consider another type of bias. What do you think is the population of Caracas? 2 million, 5 million or 7 million? Assuming you don't know the real answer, chances are that you will not come up with a wildly different answer like 5000 or 100 million. This is because a set of given choices has anchored your brain around a range and made you biased towards making a choice within that range. This cognitive bias is called anchoring bias and marketing experts understand it only too well. Cognitive biases, assumptions, beliefs and prejudices subtly influence your thinking and your decisions and you are not even aware of it. Even though you know that these biases exist, they will continue to rule your thinking. However, armed with the knowledge that such biases do exist, you can name them to tame them just a little.